This is a continuation of how I built this tripod place that I'm going to use uh, for resetting uh, uh, cemetery gravestones or it'll come in handy for any other heavy object that, that you have to lift. Uh, in a previous video I indicated that basically the support legs are floor jacks that I got at the local um, uh, big box uh, home supply store, in my case uh, locally uh, Menards. Uh, on sale they're about 35 bucks uh, uh, a piece. Uh, so basically right now I've got as you'll see in, in other videos, uh, this is just one leg. So I've uh, put the inner tube and telescoped it. But in order to do so, I had to uh, drill some more holes. Uh, so I'll show you how I uh, uh, aligned and drilled those holes in a minute. So uh, really what we're going to do is add uh, one to two, be able to add one to two more extensions. So. Right now I've got a skinny tube inside the fat tube. Now we're going to uh, allow for adding a fatter tube um, as another set of legs. And these are you know, roughly a little over three feet uh, long, three to four feet a piece. And then uh, if I really need some height, uh, then we'll add uh, uh, one more tube. So they're kind of a telescoping and adjustable and also um, that uh, allows me to transport them in the back of my pickup bed too, um, disassembled or I can fold it up too. Um, I can probably fold this entire section up, pull the pins, um, slide the legs up to this jam stop I've got here and it'll take, take down the hoist and it'll essentially lay flat in the uh, back of the pickup. So let's go ahead and show you uh, how I uh, uh, aligned uh, these holes or, or marked and drilled these holes. It's um, some, sometimes uh, you just need a, a little push to figure out how to get things done. Hope this helps. Okay, so out of the box we have uh, the larger outside tube. Inside we've got some parts uh, that are not probably not needed, uh, at least for uh, these final leg extensions. Here's an inner tube, and then two support plates, which uh, you'll see how we use them for feet uh, in an earlier or other video. So what we're trying to do is simply line up our, these, uh, the small tube only comes with two pinholes at one end, uh, there are no pinholes down here, so we need to drill some. The same thing with the outer tube. Uh, we need to drill some uh, holes to insert our pins on here. So the challenge you might be thinking is, well, how do I line up these holes or get them in alignment so all of my pin pinholes line up for easier assembly? Um, and I've already... I've already done it on a couple of them over here, but simply what we're going to do, uh, as soon as I find my marker, is uh, we'll just use a level, like a six foot level, and we'll just simply cradle the level over the top of the pipe and then just simply draw a line. So. Let me find my marker and uh, we'll continue. Here it is. Continue that process. Now, right now, I don't know how many holes I'm going to drill, um, so I'm just going to draw my line. So I've got roughly the edge of the level uh, going through the center of these pinholes. So on the end, I need some holes drilled, I'll just draw a straight line. And all I have to do is just roll the level and the tube together, line it up with the center of the other pinholes, and continue on. So make sure that uh, your level and, and tube is seated properly. Get to the next center of the holes, draw another line. Really not that difficult, but uh, 
If you're trying to do this freehand, your pinholes probably won't line up right. Away. So there we've got that larger tube marked, just as I've already done over here on those tubes. On the smaller tube, this one only comes with pinholes at two pinholes at this end. Uh, just in case I want to add some more adjustability, um, we might add some pinholes uh, on this end as well. So I'm going to mark both ends of here. They're both ends of the inner or smaller tube. Um, we can mark it up here because there's already a pinhole here and here, so we'd be drilling somewhere out in this area. And a nice long mark on the other end. And again, make sure it's seated properly. And rotate it once more to the fourth pinholes. So there, quick and easy way to uh, make sure that your pinholes, any new holes here are aligned. Uh, we are going to be using uh, what I found is, uh, these holes are actually three quarter inch, the pre-drilled holes, which hold these bolts that come with it. These bolts are actually only, I believe, five eighths. So I have been using a uh, pilot hole and then drilled with a uh, 11 16 hole to accept either a 5 8 bolt or for, for convenience I've been using just a 5 8 hitch pin I got it at the local farm store, farm supply store. These are grade 5 so um, and I suspect these are probably grade 2 but uh, so these uh, I'm using just for easier assembly, they got kind of a beveled tip, a good handle, so uh, just an easier way to, um, rather than nuts and bolts. And if you do use nuts and bolts, uh, I'd actually recommend a grade five or grade eight. Uh, excuse me, like you've seen in some other videos. So now we need to figure out where we're gonna drill the holes. Now, it's pretty easy to get rid of the level now. So, we've already got an inner tube and the outer tube. The outer tube already comes with pre-drilled holes, so that makes it pretty easy. Just slide the inner tube inside, line up your that, that line that we just made, put the ends of your tube flush, and you can just start drawing circles within the existing um, two holes. And we probably don't need to, well, you can do all five holes if you want and decide how many you want to drill later. Uh, try not to move your tube as you rotate it and just keep drawing circles. And this doesn't, again, have to be an exact, precise process because we're going to be using a 5 8 pin inside a, in my case, I've got an 11 16 a drill bit, which uh, would seem to work fine in the assembly of the uh, primary tripod or the first three legs of the tripod. So, now you can see that we've got our holes all marked, so for depending on how many pins you want, you know, you know that you'll need a hole on each side of the tube. And I used a drill, I'll be using a drill press for this, uh, so I won't show you that process, it's fairly self-explanatory. The other end, I've only got two pin holes. Um, I may just go ahead and add a couple more uh, pin holes just to add some more um, adjustability, uh, especially if you're on an unlevel surface. So let's use that same outer tube. Insert the other end. And here we can actually line up existing pinholes. And if you want, you can even stick a drill bit through there. As an example, um, and go ahead and mark 
few circles. And in this case, you see my line isn't perfectly in the same place, but again, we're we're pretty darn close. And although we have the circles or the approximate location, uh, you'll be these are almost spot on. Just mark your holes. So a couple different ways to to mark your pipe for drilling. Uh, you know the straight lines. If you got no holes to line up with each other, then use your lines. Draw your holes. Um, I'd actually recommend the lines on both both ends of the tube. That way. Essentially, your pin holes will be lined up as well. So even if you have pre-drilled or existing holes to use as a guide, this line will indicate that your that your tube rotated correctly and uh, lined up. Now the other uh, on the big tube, the outer tube, one end does not come with any any pipe or excuse me any pin holes, and from the factory at the other end. They are one inch in, one inch on center from the end, and then four inches. So they're the center to center, the holes are three inches apart. So I'm just going to measure in one inch. One inch and actually four inches for the next hole. Let's rotate it around to the opposite side. We're going to do one inch and four inches and then if we want more adjustability then we would go um, out to on this side we would go four inches and then ten inches so just to say again how much um, adjustability you want. You just want a simple connection enough to hold the pieces together and you probably only need two pins. And technically you probably only need one pin um, uh, as opposed to if you're using this as intended to support a floor. So I think we we're going to go, uh, let's see what it says, four inches and ten inches on the other side. So hopefully that shows you uh, how we when it go ahead and mark it. Again, about a quarter inch, three sixteenths inch pilot hole, and then an eleven sixteenths, or if you want, three quarter inch uh, main hole. You will see there's plenty of play here, um, but on some other ones, again using a five eighths pin in an eleven sixteenths hole uh, should be adequate for your endeavors. So I won't show you how to go ahead and uh, drill these out. I think you know how to run a drill and a drill press, but uh, that's my next process. And uh, we should then have our final set of legs or leg extensions to, to then go ahead and add, take off our foot plates and then we can add our new uh, extensions to them. So, uh, Hope this helped and uh, again uh, those that post the videos as well uh, keep it up uh, I found them helpful uh, for my endeavors too so good luck